All right, we're back. So I was here a couple episodes ago. Probably remember I got the cool little bell and silver earring and just piles of clad. Well, as you can see, it's pretty snowy. Ground may be frozen. I'm not even really sure, but this is a swim area. And last time I was here, I don't think the water was this low. Um, so I came here prepared to go in the water, which I probably still will. But I think there's a whole bunch of bank that's exposed, but I haven't hit yet. So I guess I'm gonna do that first. You know, it's funny you have your little plan for what's gonna happen and then <laughs> that all changes as soon as you get there. So yeah, I'm gonna wait on the water stuff. I have most of the day. I got here early this time. It is quite a drive for me, so. I don't know. We haven't found a single ring in this area. And as much clad as there is, I just can't imagine that there's no rings here. So that's our goal. Let's find a ring. All right, here's our first signal. No idea what it is. It is a high town. Probably a dime. There it is, a dime. Yeah, so we still got targets here. Let's do this. All right, I got me another dime. So, you know, I'm not gonna show you everything, obviously. I'll show you at the end. Um, I've already dug a bunch of pennies and stuff, and I've only gone just a couple feet. So, this place is just still loaded with signals. See what we can get. All right, my first piece of brass. Hey, check this out. Well, looks like I can see where people were fishing. Look at all this lead just right here on top. It's like somebody lost their whole tackle box. Jig heads. Alright. So, that's kind of a good sign, because maybe that means I'm kind of closer to the area where one of the dock edges was. And... Of course, when people jump off, you're much more likely to get a ring. So I'm going to snag all these because, one, I can recycle them and make money off of them. Two, I just want them out of my way in case there's a gold ring or something here. You know, no reason to put a coil over this until I get all these suckers out of here. I'm really not even to this spot yet, but that's okay. Well, I don't know how many jig heads that was, but that's a pile. So it seems like from the snow line down to this water's edge is all new. So, <laughs> or not new, but uncovered with water. So I think I got my work cut out here today without me even going in the water. Um, I mean, you can see maybe here in front of me how many holes I've dug already. It's crazy. I barely hit anything. So, you know, I'm getting some real strong skunk smell. So, hopefully, we don't run into that thing either. But, and then there's kind of an island out there I might even make it out to. I mean, I don't know if there's signals out there, but I think boaters would like to go out there and chill out have a beer or something have a private place to swim so i might make it out there there's like a land bridge out to it right now so oh let's see i'm pretty excited about it i got a bunch of quarters now that i didn't show you so let's keep going look at that finally got my first nickel well look at that see if i can wash him up a little bit keep my hands dry whoa is that a tootsie toy oh it actually has something pretty decent here
Well, I am going to have to get back to you on what that says. I can see it says rabbit, number one. But, you know, usually when they're hollow like this, they're usually, oh, it does. It says Tootsie. Nice. So that's an old car. That's cool. Hey, maybe we are going to get some old stuff out of here. I mean, I got that really old bell last time I was here. All right, let's see what we can get. It finally happened. Seven million coins later. Finally got me a ring. I think it's a junker. I can't believe it. I finally got one. Had to be a record of some kind for me to <laughs> dig <laughs> that many coins and stuff in the swimming area and I'll at least get one junk ring yeah I think I can see already that this has got the plating peeling off yeah this is a little heart ring hey <laughs> finally a ring's a ring let's get a good ring though well that was just booming <laughs> I thought that was going to be trash, but yeah, oh well. Let's wash it off and see what it is. Looks like it's going to be a pretty cool brass pendant of some kind. See like a skull coming through there. Let's see what we got. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. I don't know what it means, but that is one cool pendant. Look at that thing. Boom. Look at this. Life doesn't get much better than this. Treasure hunting. Nice, pretty winter day. And look at that. Homemade beef brisket sandwich. Smoked beef brisket. Yeah, that's about the best lunch you can get up here. This is a pretty interesting one. It's kind of a booming 7-8. So, I don't know what the heck that's going to be. If it's gold, it's going to be kind of small. It might be a one or two gram ring. Fooled by the rotten, rusty pop top. Well, I thought I had something cool there for a second, but I'm trying to think that's just a piece off a fishing reel. Now, if it turns out to be something better, I'll let you know. Well, it's just last, like last time I was here. I'm just pulling clad after clad after clad, I mean. It's crazy how much money's here, to be honest. I mean, just like six square feet has so many coins in it. So there's gotta be something amazing here, you'd think. Okay, we're at a well-known swimming area. Check out the mountains. Brought the dog. And this side is the boat ramp. And you can see way up there is where the water goes in the summertime. So this is all covered in water normally. So we're gonna give it a try. I already dug up a couple items that were junk. So at least there's metal here. But let you know how it goes. Check this out. Holy cow. I got a ring. <laughs> what? Dude, first I got a pop top. Came up a 15. Then a sinker. Came up a 15. This was a 15. Look at that. Okay, it's not. Ooh, maybe. I'll have to check it out. 
Look at that. Okay, here's my first good signal. At the new lake, I got a penny. All right, do you see it? Look at that. Nickel. Okay, there's not a ton of signals on this side, but there's a quarter. So loud. Looks like it's on top too. Ooh, that was nice. Ground's not frozen. God, I love this scoop. <laughs> Ooh, I think I got it. Oh, for sure. I got a dime. I got a dime. I'm rocking it, man. Okay, what did I get? Just a dime. But what I wanted to tell you guys is see all these rocks and everything? There's a ton of iron out here. And, you know, if you run in like park one, park two, you get a lot of faulting and it'll just drive you drive you mad you know all that iron will ping and make all kinds of noise and you're always trying to figure out like what's what's actually something so anyways what i do in that situation i throw it in beach two and i found that beach two will uh, eliminate a lot of your iron sounds that uh <clears throat> you know jump up into the mid tones and the high tones so yeah now I just, it's just really clean out here. Like I don't hear much of anything. When I do hear something, it usually is something. So anyways, that's just a little tip for you. I know we're near salt water, but uh, yeah, beach too. Really uh, cleans it up out here. So you spend more time uh, swinging, trying to find targets instead of re-swinging, wondering if it was a target. Look, Gunner found his own treasure. He loves it. Well, this lake, there hasn't been much to film. I mean, just your regular clad and pull tabs. But uh, it's kind of an interesting piece of copper there. See, there's kind of a gear in the top there. I don't know what that is. Pretty cool. Try a live dig. Loud. It's on top. High tone. There we go. That was so loud. It's a, p it's a pity. What? What? <laughs> it's a pity. Look at that. I mean, Sheila did get that one ring. We didn't get anything amazing today, but nice day out. All right. So that was an interesting couple days. Most of what I got here, I actually got at the first place. Um, there wasn't as many signals at the second lake. But there's my trash pile. That's what I'm throwing away. And I'm, like I told you in the last video, I started uh, recycling buckets so that I could make money on my trash too. So there's my brass pile. 
aluminum. And I dug quite a bit of lead on this one too. Some funky pieces too. Kind of like actually these weird pieces of lead you get sometimes. Kind of interesting. But look at all the clad. Isn't that crazy? So that's pennies, dimes, quarters, nickels. And any one of these nickels here, that could have easily been a gold ring. But what's so strange is how much clad I dug out of those swimming holes and I didn't actually get any precious metals. Like that's so rare for that to happen. Like usually in swimming areas, that's your highest percentage chance to get some silver or gold rings or something. So yeah, I don't know. Must have just been little kids swimming there or something. Not as many adults. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I am in Montana, so you know, people are quite a bit poorer here than say like Florida or something. But there's the stars of the show right there. I got a little Tootsie car. I really like that. That'll go sweet in my little Tootsie car collection. And of course the Pirates of the Caribbean pendant. And I finally did get a ring. This little junker. So yeah, not my best hunt, but uh, yeah, it was still a lot of fun. And I'll let Sheila do her own wrap up here in a second. So stay tuned for that. But also, look what I got going on here. I got like a jar of coins that you know the machines aren't taken and you know a lot of them are just these gross zinc pennies and stuff like a lot of them are even like missing pieces and you know how they get so i guess it's trash i don't know do you got an idea what to do with this i mean the only thing i can really think of is maybe like burying them in a jar in the park and hoping one of my buddies digs them up just to mess with them i really don't know what else i can do with them i mean it's if you can't turn them in, then they're kind of worthless, so. But the other thing I do like to do with my actual clad, I mean, this year I'm probably going to buy some equipment with it. Um, but in years past, I'd take my clad and I'd just buy silver with it. And so it was almost like, no matter what, every time you dig something up, you're turning it into silver. So it's like everything, even this penny becomes silver. So that's kind of a fun idea to do with it. And then... You know, luckily silver's also been going up, so it also increased my value on my finds. So, anyways, stay tuned for Sheila's wrap up. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, we're all done. I get to do my first wrap up. Here's my junk. I got some of those, some of that, a bolt, bullets, of course. Sinkers. Look at that junk pile. Got two quarters, two dimes, and a Lincoln. And then Shazam. This ring looks like so much. And that's all I got today. And the dog is crying because he put himself to bed and now he doesn't want to go to bed.